Only OG COD Zombies players remember that they can buy the ray gun from the wall. It works because it's a perma perk in BO2, and if the player is rank 1 or 2, they can keep buying the Olympia and its ammo from the wall, and they'll randomly get the gun. It's super rare though. Most people know that the ray gun Mark II was added in Black Ops 2, but only OGs will remember that Treyarch accidentally added it in a patch about a week early, and they were forced to quickly remove it. There's plenty more OG Zombies things in the rest of this video, like remembering OG Zombies YouTuber, COD Zombies releasing on old devices, and what training used to be called. Let's continue. Only OGs remember that Gobblegums used to not be free. Instead, they would always cost 500 points to start, and players could only buy them once per round. Speaking of Gobblegums, they used to only be available at one location around the map. Kind of like how the mystery box is right now. It was difficult to figure out which machine supplied the gums because there was no indicator like the box has. Mega Zombies OGs remember the intro cutscene for Origins originally got uploaded on Treyarch's YouTube channel with a typo. Instead of spelling Nikolai Belinsky's name right, they spelled it Nikolai Belinksy. Obviously, the video got re-uploaded shortly after to fix the mistake. There's an easy way to double your points in the BO2 bank, and most OGs remember it. It's it's done by buying who's who, having a zombie kill you, while in the who's who mode, deposit the points in the bank, and then go revive yourself and deposit the points again. It's easy double points. OGs remember various glitches that are in the game, including this anywhere but here glitch on Shadows of Evil. How it works is if a player stands in this exact spot and then pops there anywhere but here, they'll teleport behind closed doors in one of the wings. OGs use this glitch to save a lot of points. Most OG Zombies players remember at least one map's east Easter egg steps by heart. Maybe it was their favorite map or whatever, but they could do this Easter egg with their eyes closed. OG BO4 Zombies players remember that the launch of the game brought some of the worst stability issues that players had ever seen. There were many times where the game crashed during world's first Easter egg hunts, and it left a bad taste in some players' mouths. Speaking of BO4's launch, the Tigers at launch were some of the most OP special zombies that players have ever seen. Players could get one shot by them, and they were pretty tanky depending on what weapon the player was using. One more thing about BO4 that early players will remember is in the very beginning, there was only 150 health instead of the 200 that's there today. This made it a lot harder to survive in the game, especially because there was no Juggernaug. I'm not even this much of an OG, but according to this guy on Reddit, there was a different perk drinking animation for BO1 at the start of the game. Apparently, it was similar to the World at War perk animation. If you remember this, let me know in the comments if it's a real thing or it's fake. This one goes all all the way back to the early World at War days. It suggests that the name of the mystery box could have been Treasure Chest. In the game files, the name for the box is MTL underscore treasure underscore chest, and the mystery box was also referred as Treasure Chest in the loading screen tip. Most OGs will know that the character models for the iconic characters were actually reused assets from the World at War campaign. Dempsey is Private Polanski from the Marine Raiders. Nikolai is Chernov from the Red Army. Takeo is a Japanese officer officer who's actually the first character to speak to you in the campaign, and Richtofen is General Ansel from the Stalingrad mission. When players pick up power-ups nowadays, there's a symbol at the bottom of the screen, but picking up a power-up on World at War Nocturne Toten only shows words and a countdown timer. More experienced zombie players remember that they used to be able to shoot and revive somebody at the same time. In order for this to work, they needed to start reviving the player and then swap weapons, but Treyarch took it out of the game in BO4 and Cold War. Most casuals know that the ray gun is fully automatic, meaning if you hold down the trigger, it will fire constantly. But only the OGs remember that the Wonderwaff is also full auto. OGs remember that Kino der Toten was actually supposed to be a DLC World at War map, but Treyarch said it would have released too close to Modern Warfare 2, so they saved it for BO1. Element 115 is normally remembered as blue colored stones, like it is in Origins or Derizon Track. But in the original World at War map, the stones were actually reddish orange. OG Element 115, I guess. OGs remember quite a bit about the zombie storyline. One thing in particular is that Nuketown takes place during the events of Moon, where the Earth gets blown up. And when a player reaches round 25, the zombie's eyes change from yellow to blue. Only OGs remember former zombies YouTubers who switch their content to different games. Two examples are Ali A playing zombies before he switched to Fortnite, and Syndicate before he switched to Minecraft. Going along with YouTube, most OGs will remember 
remember some of the old YouTube skits surrounding COD Zombies. The 115 movie and COD Zombies in real life are just a few that I thought of. Every OG has that one zombies memory or story that they tell to everyone when they talk about zombies. Maybe it's you remembering playing on a specific map or a time that you had an insane clutch. It varies per person. Speaking of memories, only OGs remember when split screen zombies was a thing. Split screen is when there can be multiple POVs running on one screen, and it was way more popular years ago. Some newer COD games don't even support it now, or they make it much harder to access. OGs remember seeing new COD Zombies games be revealed for the first time. One thing that stands out to me, even though this was only a few years ago, was when Treyarch was revealing Cold War, YouTubers got sent stuff to tease the game, and Mr. Dalek JD got sent pictures of like a random family. It instantly became a meme in the community. And also OGs probably remember their first reactions to seeing some of the Zombies trailers for the first time. Newer COD Zombies games allow you to see your health, but the older Zombies games, you had to rely on either counting the amount of hits you got or if your screen went red. Most newer Zombies games have sliding, which is cool, but OG players remember when sliding didn't even cross their minds and it was just dolphin diving, which made way for the perk PhD Flopper. OGs will remember that it was actually possible to get the M1911 starting pistol from the mystery box on World at War Shinonuma. In order to get it, it had to be a co-op game and one of the players still had to have it from the start of the game. Every Zombies OG remembers being scared of zombies at one point in their life. Older games had creepier ambient sounds and the color scale that they followed gave them a more spooky look. OGs remember random facts about certain maps. For example, on Shinonuma, the player probably noticed that the map mentions a power switch, but there isn't one. OGs probably remember speculating what this could mean and being confused in the moment. OGs remember at the beginning of BO2, the recoil on some of the guns was way less than it is now. Most of the guns were straight laser beams, but now guns like the Type 25, the MTAR, and most notably the Hammer have insane recoil that can be tough to control. There used to be a COD Zombies mobile game. I don't have any gameplay of it because it released so long ago and it's not even available on the App Store anymore, but some OGs will remember playing it. Speaking of something long ago, some OG players probably remember playing BO1 on the Wii. Some players have still played it to this day, but people who played it near the initial release in 2010 have real OG status. OGs remember little details about maps. Like in Origins, most casuals don't even know that these wall buys exist. This 5.7 wall buy and this MP41. If you knew that these existed, then you're officially an OG. Speaking of Origins, most players remember using these guides to help upgrade the staffs, but the OGs memorized all the upgrade steps and didn't need those charts. Most OGs remember the OG name for training. If you know, you know. If at least one of these applied to you, you have to watch another video. Have a nice day.